Tell me if you spend a lot of time online looking for success secrets, effective working methods, or asking this or that person to develop yourself. But after a while, you notice you keep coming back to zero. If you see your picture in there, then let me tell you why. It's because you never shook hands. In and action, action, action. Action is one of the three words you should obsess over. You should know that Cristiano Ronaldo would not become the excellent player he is today if he did not spend thousands of hours practicing every day. Perhaps just by dreaming about the golden ball, Usain Bolt will not become the fastest man in the world with a distance of 100 meters in just nine seconds. If he hadn't taken his first steps on the training ground, Jeff Bezos wouldn't have become the richest person in the world if he hadn't started selling books online. He just sat around, drawing a beautiful vision of his future, hybrid. You want to be knowledgeable, but have never picked up a book and read it. You want to be an entrepreneur without ever selling a product. You want to be an athlete, but have never run on the field with your first steps. Then you will definitely never have what you want. If you want, find a way. If you don't want, find an excuse. You will always have reasons for procrastination when you want to do something, but haven't seen results or haven't seen anyone else doing it. You will feel discouraged and you will always find appropriate reasons to justify your laziness instead of finding ways to act better. Do you know what one of your most valuable assets is right now? It's time. Time is an extremely cruel thing and it waits for no one. Every second or minute you hesitate is a waste of your own time. Every minute and every second you wait, the person next to you is taking action. Every time you say you wait until the right moment to act, I ask you, what is the right moment? What is luck? I have witnessed many people waiting for something they still have difficulty defining, which is opportunity, and five years later, when I met them again, they were still waiting for the opportunity. I have met people whining about their delays, but instead of taking action to reap small rewards, they just sit around complaining, and five years later, they're still there. We sit and complain that goals must be written down on paper and implemented. That is the most valuable treasure that I was fortunate to learn from my great teachers. A goal that is only thought of in the head and not put on paper is just a wish. Everyone has a lot of wishes and desires, but few people are willing to write them down on paper with commitment and only a few people put them into persistent action and persistently pursue them every day. You want to lose weight? You want to learn English? Do you want to increase your income? Do you want to develop your business? Do you want to change your habits? Then write them down on paper and do it. No matter who you are, whether you are a student, a doctor, an athlete, a business person, a teacher, or an office worker. Whatever your goal is to build a career, nurture family love, friendship, or simply exercise every day, start your game by taking action. You will be sad to hear the phrase I said it was coming. Let me tell you that you will definitely make mistakes on your journey. Why are you scared? I wish and you fear that every day you will continue to sit there only daring to think about unrealistic successes and continue to like other people's achievements on Facebook, right? Tell me, how long don't you sit there one day, two days, one month, or two months, or one year? Two years, my friend? You can only defeat this fear by doing it. Take it a little at a time each day, completing one small task within your goal. It will help you get motivated to start taking action in the following days. You probably won't be able to take 10 steps at once on your desired path. But you can take each step to your destination. The person who never dares to take a single step will forever be the one standing below, looking up at others with envious admiration. Why don't you step up so others can look up to you?
You are the one who defines yourself. So it's you, not anyone else, and others will look at your actions. The more drastic your actions, the greater your impact. The more you talk but do less, the more you will lose people's trust. So convince people with actions and results. Everyone wants what they want, but no one does what they need to do. They often rely on something called luck. They believe that if they live well, luck will come. They believe that if they pray, the Buddha will appear, but no one believes in themselves or the law of cause and effect. You will bear all future consequences from your actions today, and you do so so that your future will not change. Or you cannot meet any failure by doing nothing in the present state. I don't know the exact formula for success, but I do know that the only way not to fail is to do nothing. Because when you don't do anything, you will still be you. You won't meet anyone, accomplish anything, or carry out any projects. You won't collide with life. Then you will never fail, but is that the life you want? Do you know when the right time is for you to take action? If you are asking me where to start and when to start, I tell you that you should start with yourself and your actions right now. Right now. Remember the times you procrastinated? When you procrastinated, your brain had free time to think and was often unlucky. Those are negative thoughts. If you get down and do it more, you get scared. And if it stays that way, you have negative thoughts. If you get down and never get out of the vicious cycle you're stuck in, the only way to get out of it is to take two actions. So when you don't have time for negative thoughts or actions, you always have to find ways to improve your work productivity. That is also the way successful people work. They don't have time to hesitate because they are always in a state of activity. Act now. It's never too late. Even if it's late, at least you will achieve something richer in this life than if you wait 10 years and continue to sing the same refrain. If only I had started sooner. If only I could have overcome my fear. If only I wasn't afraid of other people's judgments. If only I could get over the procrastination. Only when you start taking action will you see that you are not as good as you think. But at least you know what you need to improve. Only when you take action will you see that you always have to think about how to reach your destination the fastest. Or because you sit and think about obstacles. Only when you take action will you see the results and feel the journey you have achieved. Only when you take action will you see that everything will be difficult. But you should remember that difficulties are inevitable to help you succeed. The harder the game, the better you need to be and you only get better as you take action. Even when you start doing something that you no longer dare to do, you think you will be good. Something like that. How do you define a must try? I don't feel strongly about the word try. Trying to make it rancid is such a stupid joke. I think that if you do it, you have to do it really well and do your best to get results. Why try? Trying is how the word try causes a very half-hearted feeling of not being decisive when you start doing something instead of saying, I'll try it. Please tell me I must be able to do it. You must be more determined and stronger and take action from now on. Always tell yourself that you can do it and I can do it. That is a commitment to yourself. When you commit to yourself, you will be responsible for it and complete your tasks on time. If you don't commit to yourself, you will become lazy and never understand why you have to do it. Even if you yourself are irresponsible and have no commitment, you probably won't be able to do anything else. There is a saying that gathering yourself together will bring peace to the world. No matter what you are doing, who you want to be with, or what you do. The first thing you need to do is change and develop yourself. First of all, only when you yourself make a spontaneous change will people around you admire you. If you are just a parrot that talks nonsense without any results, then people will only take you for granted. 
People who stay silent and act are scarier than those who just talk and do nothing. The gap between knowing and understanding is very large, or the easy way to understand and do it is even greater. Always remind yourself and ask why you have to do what you have to do. You don't have to wait to be great to start changing. Change to become great. Think less and start doing more. If you work, you will gain experience. If you work, you will know where you stand. Only by doing do we know that doing is more difficult than saying. Start a new day with tasks that you find interesting and exciting. Love what you are doing and always be grateful that every morning you wake up and have more work to accomplish. You have goals in life to work towards and just like that, you are one of the happiest people in the world. The choice is yours. You cannot predict the future, but you can create your own future with small actions today. And I wish you success. As we wrap up this video on overcoming procrastination, remember that breaking free from procrastination is a journey. It requires self-reflection, determination, and consistent effort. By implementing these strategies and developing a proactive mindset, you can say goodbye to procrastination and hello to a life filled with productivity, achievement, and personal growth. Take up the challenge, my friends, and discover your true potential